Today, we are going to tackle a debate that has been there for quite some time now and it is which is better, the physical book or the digital one? Here is how we are going to structure this video. First, we will define what a book is, what is a physical book, and what is a digital book. And then, we will weigh the pros and cons of each medium. And then, I will share my opinion or my take on this matter. So first, what is a book? A book is essentially a written form or a composition that has been published. So there are many reasons why we buy and read books. It can be for education, for entertainment, or maybe to just have something to display on our bookshelf and our coffee table. With that said, a physical book is simply the tangible form of the composition like this one. So this is a paperback and this is a hardcover. So the difference is that a hardcover has a dust jacket. One. And meanwhile, the digital book is simply the electronic form of a book, so this can be in PDF, EPUB, or mobile. Now let's go to the pros and cons, starting with the physical books. So personally, I started reading through the paperbacks, and what I noticed about this is how there is less strain on the eyes since you are taking your time off screens. It is also less distracting because once a book is open, you are just focused on reading. Unlike, for example, when you're reading on your phone, you are so tempted to just exit and then just open your social media accounts or YouTube. It's also easy to resell books if you don't like a particular book that you bought. You can just put it up on the marketplace or maybe you can also borrow and lend books to your friends. Plus, I enjoy the smell and the flipping of the pages of the book. I don't know if that's weird or if that's just me. It is also one of my guilty pleasures to see my physical books displayed on the shelf because, let's be honest, they look pretty good when lined up. Now for the cons. It's hard to travel with physical books especially when you're an avid reader and you have to bring more than one book with you. They are also more pricey compared to the ebooks. You also can't read a physical book at night without a light. Plus, physical books can easily be deformed or they can easily break especially when we are not careful as we know paper is not waterproof. Now for the digital books. So for some ebook readers are actually waterproof and they are pretty durable. Another is how easy it is to look for a particular section or chapter. You can just input whatever it is that you're looking for like a keyword or something, click search and then technology will do the job for you. Ebooks are also more affordable and you can read them at night without the need for supplementary light. What I also like is how you can change the font style, the font size, and even the font spacing and this is especially helpful if you have dyslexia. Ebooks are also easy to store and they are easy to travel with and you don't really have to go to a bookstore to buy them. Additionally, there's this feature in some ebook readers wherein if you're not familiar with a particular word, you can just click on it and it will automatically give the definition for you. And my favorite feature will have to be how once you highlight important passages, the device will automatically compile everything highlighted and you can just view them in one page. Now for the cons. First, an ebook reader can be pretty expensive but I think that if you are a bookworm, it is a good investment because it lasts for years. As mentioned earlier, if you are reading on your phone or a tablet or a laptop, it's so easy to just close the book and do something else. Digital books are also dependent on battery life so you can't really binge read and you have to be mindful of the battery percentage. If you notice, I didn't mention anything about being environmental friendly because I think that both physical books and digital books make an impact on the environment the day they were manufactured. And it's up to us on how we can lessen this impact. For example, if you prefer reading physical books, then I suggest don't buy brand new ones. It's best to just buy secondhand or maybe borrow or exchange or barter with a friend. And if you prefer reading digital books, then I suggest that you don't upgrade your ebook reader because from my perspective, I think, and from the reviews that I have heard, ebook readers actually last for years, so it's very unnecessary to make upgrades if your ebook reader right now is not burned out yet. Now for my take, which is better, the physical book or the digital book? So I think it greatly, greatly depends upon your purpose for reading and buying books. If you buy books only for the sake of their presence, only for the sake of the smell and the flipping of pages and having something to display, something to hold, something to post about, something to read while you're at the airport or you're at a cafe, then it's most likely that you prefer physical books. 
But for me, I read because of the story. I read for information. So to be completely honest, I don't really care whether or not I'm reading something in its physical form or its electronic format because a story is a story. Whether it's told verbally, whether it's narrated through news, whether it's delivered through poetry, a story is a story and I want to consume it. I want to get this information whether or not it is a physical copy of the book or it's from a digital copy of the book. During this pandemic, however, I have ran out of physical books to read, so I have been reading the ebook format more because it has been more than a year since I went to a bookstore, which is insane to think about. But anyways, I have also been considering curating my shelf. I want to keep the books that I genuinely like, so I've been thinking of reselling or donating some of my old books that I think some people would enjoy more than I did. And yes, I'm not sure yet, but if that's something that you are interested in, so please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I try to upload new videos every Sunday. See you next week.